My name is Del Record. I'm 60 years old. I've always been pretty active. I've skied since I was nine years old. I have a mountain bike, and I'm on the mountain bike as often as I can. I'm an avid tennis player. I play tennis with my, my friends and family here. We used to run, own, and operate a Longfield Tennis Club. When I was 59, I had a heart attack, and I never saw it come. My wife and I were remodeling the deck of our tennis club. It was very hot, very humid, and I attributed the discomfort to the weather. But the chest pain that I experienced at the time was different. We called the Rye Ambulance, they came to the house. The EMT started a line, took my blood pressure, and decided that um, I'd, I'd best be checked out at Portsmouth Hospital. The importance of time in evaluating a chest pain complaint cannot be understated. Time is muscle. When you're having a heart attack, the quicker you are evaluated by a medical professional, the more likely you are to survive the event. There was a doctor there that conversed with me and asked me about my symptoms. Um, and he said to me, you're having a heart attack. At Portsmouth Regional Hospital, we can handle all levels of cardiac emergency. And we are the only hospital in the seacoast of New Hampshire that has an open heart surgical program. They put two stents in my heart. I had two um, arteries that were 98% blocked, so the blood flow wasn't sufficient. I was in the hospital, I think, for two or three days, and I was back to work in a week. Amazing. You know, I feel like I dodged a bullet. My, the prognosis is very good. I can continue a normal, healthy life. <laughs> I'm very happy that he lives close. He's only like eight minutes away, so I like that I can spend a lot of time with him. I mean, it would be hard not having him around. Even to this point, we can still do things together, which is great. He's very, very active, uh, very competitive. It makes it fun to do things with him. Obviously, genetics play a big part in heart conditions. Um, my grandfather passed away behind where I'm sitting. Uh, he had a heart attack on the tennis court that used to be here. My father had his heart attack 150 yards to the left, right next to the other tennis court. The first thing I did was uh, I went in for a stress test. I talked to my doctor and said, I want to get ahead of this. You know, what, can, what kind of changes can I make in my life uh, so that makes a difference so I have more time to spend with my family? You know, understanding cardiovascular risk is an important part for reducing the mortality related to cardiovascular disease. And those risk factors uh, are very common and they include hypertension, uh, high cholesterol, obesity, family history for coronary disease, diabetes mellitus being the major ones. WOKQ, we are live this morning from Portsmouth Regional Hospital. It is American Heart Month. It's all about heart health this month, so we've invited people into the brand new, beautiful lobby here at Portsmouth Regional Hospital. Uh, they're getting uh, free blood pressure screenings, a free heart healthy continental breakfast, uh, advice from uh, Dr. D. The kind of testing we're doing today uh, is a cardiac evaluation, including an exercise treadmill test. Uh, we're doing blood pressure screenings, uh, electrocardiograms. Uh, peripheral arterial disease uh, evaluations, including an ankle brachial index, and we're doing some nutritional counseling. And we're joined here in the uh, in the lobby at Portsmouth Regional Hospital, a brand new lobby, by the way, by uh, Mr. Dell Record. Good morning, Dell. Welcome to the program. Good morning, sir. Thank you. I took time out of the day to be part of this event with the Portsmouth Hospital and OKQ uh, because I think it's really important to in enforce the message. All right. So now, uh, down the road, a year later, how has your life changed? Um, we've tweaked the meds a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, my diet is better. Uh, I continue to be active. Um, I ski with National Ski Patrol. I've got, you know, 25 days in this year. I'm in the gym two or three days a week. You know, there are three things that I've dialed into now that I can categorize regarding my event, my, my, my particular heart attack event. One is diet and family history. Um, the other is communication with your, with your, with your physician, regular checkups. Um, I, I have a stress test on a regular basis. I get blood work done to check my cholesterol. We have everything set up here. You want to take another stress test this morning? Just... Been there, done it. Yeah, I'm sure. No thanks. I'm good. But I'm glad you did. Everybody yeah. needs to. You know, that's really important. You've got, you've got to stay on top of this. Um, I never thought it was going to happen to me because I was, you know, it was bulletproof. Thank you. I appreciate it. The heart attack changed my life. I'm such a lucky guy. There are so many things now that I was 
And it sounds so cliche to say that I took for granted, but I did, you know, I did. It's, it's coming from the heart. You know, I mean this from my double stented heart. <laughs> my medically controlled, pharmaceutically controlled, dual stent heart. <laughs> the opportunity for me now to reflect and appreciate the small things in life, the sunset. The, again, this, you know, this may sound poetically trite, but you know, but my family, I've always, I've always loved my family. My family has been really important to me. Uh, but now, much more in focus, much more in focus. I'm a lucky guy to have these people around me. I love them very much.